What's going on YouTube? My name is Skill37 and in today's video I just want to talk about this petition that's been going on that is just downright fucking ridiculous. Now sorry for the lack of videos. Um, for the past few weeks I've been going through the recovery process of LASIK surgery. For, for those who don't know I'm actually, I was partial blind. You know, I was nearsighted and a fuck ton of other shit. I had all types of problems wrong with my eyes. I couldn't make detail out. I It was just a, a lot of shit wrong with my eyes. And I kind of always kept that to myself. You know, I was kind of like, I guess not, I wouldn't say embarrassed about it. I guess the better word would be, like, scared for everyone else to know that I actually lived for the past 25 years of my life like this. Not seeing the world for what it actually really is. But whatever. Uh, got LASIK surgery. It's fucking great. I had to spend several days indoors because it was like the light was like, oh my god, no, vampire. But uh, yeah, I'm recovered. I can see pretty fucking far now. I got nearing 2020 vision. Within the weeks, I'll have 2010 vision. And uh, yeah, I'll be, be able to see basically perfectly. So, there's a petition going on, okay? And I don't get it. I don't get it. This must be a joke. This must be some serious fucking trolling. Okay, I see lots of other YouTubers talk about it. I saw Review Tech USA talk about it. I saw a lot of guys talk about it. And luckily, luckily, it's not at the level of which Microsoft might possibly take pop interest in it. But yeah, just like Alpha Omega Sin said, like, I don't understand. Like, how the fuck do you guys fight to get all the bullshit DRM policies removed? Only to make a petition to bring them back. This petition is actually bitching about they want the the family cross bullshit, all the other bullshit with the DRM policy and all the other features that Microsoft removed due to the lack of DRM policies and Microsoft defending its whole concept of DRM you know, claiming that it would help make games cheaper and all this other shit. Listen, at the end of the day, you can sugarcoat it all you want. Those policies were fucking bullshit. And when Microsoft changed these policies to cater to what the gamers wanted, like Sony was fucking doing, because Sony gives a shit about their customers' money, you know, all of a sudden, now that we got petitions out, talk about, nah, go back to what it used to be. We want, we want the old gay Xbox. We, we love the Microsoft cock in our ass. I don't understand. You guys are retarded. And so, of course, me being me being the troll I am, I totally, totally fucking signed that petition. I was like, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring those DRM policies back. Make Xbox fucking suck again. Okay, like, if imagine. Now I remember something, and I'm gonna point this out because Alpha Omega Sin pointed it out. The removal of DRM and all the bullshit policies was simply removed. The same way they removed. It. Doesn't you know? It's the, it's the same way they could put that bitch back. So what's to say that Microsoft isn't just doing this to win some fans over that, that you know the millions of fans they lost with their bullshit, and then as the years progress, little by little on the low, not even like mentioning it in their fucking updates, they, you know, bring them back. Yeah, I realize these, these guys. This is a this is a big you know corporation, and you know when you got customers that are as dumb and blind. As the Microsoft fanboys, they might not, you know, take note of things like this. The, you know, Sony fanboys, us, we we pop shit, and we and we get shit done. And Sony said, "Fuck it, let's not do the back and forth thing. Let's just get their trust in the beginning. Yeah, let's just do it your way. Fuck it, you're the ones giving us your money. I mean, what's the goddamn point? What is the point of treating your customers a certain way?" Then flipping the script and then going back to them. Why don't you just gain the trust on the get go and keep it? So that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna be back in my grind, making sure you know if you, it's an article you guys want me to talk about, hit me up in the PMs or on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whatever. Um, sorry for lack of video. Like I said, LASIK eye surgery. I can see. But uh, yeah, catch you guys next video. Deuces, I'm going to leave a link to the fucking petition in the video description below. And, and if you actually, you know, a Sony fanboy and you want the Xbox Microsoft ship to continue sinking, then sign the fucking petition. You know what's funny? All this bullshit the, the Nintendo, you know, excuse me, all the bullshit that Microsoft Xbox is going through, the Nintendo Wii U is looking more and more appealing. 
Okay, because the Wii U actually reveals some games that I'm slightly fucking remotely interested in. The only game I was interested in on the Xbox One was Titanfall, and it's being it's coming out to fucking PS. You know, me to the, to the PC. So yeah, useless. 